Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create or correct uh, the issue of our game creator player uh, kind of sliding or also just being hovering over the ground um, when we walk or when we move. So, for instance, if you just want to import like a new idol um, but keep the game creator uh, animations. Uh, you're going to kind of run into this if you just drop the animation onto the uh, locomotion state. And this is what you may see. So we're going to go ahead and try to fix that. All right. So let's take a look. Um, most of us are probably getting animation. Well, I won't say most, but a lot of people are getting animations from uh, Mixamo or Maximo. So I'm going to use that as the example. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So my first step is going into uh, Mixamo and picking a animation. So let's take a look at that. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my screen. And um, I kind of already went through and kind of looked at a couple that I liked. I'm just going to go ahead and select this one, mainly because we have some movement. Um, there's a lot of little bobbing here, a little jumping, kind of boxing. And um, I'll just go ahead and bring the arms open just a little bit so they're not so close. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and add a little bit more movement there so it'll feel uh, more alive there. All right, great. And so what we're gonna do is download this animation um, here. Now in terms of the download settings, um, they do have FBX and they have FBX for Unity and uh, this one as well. I do not use this one. I'm not saying don't use it, but that's not the one that I'm utilizing. I'm using FBX standard. And then I use, I basically keep this at 30 frames and then the skin at that and leave this at none. Um, you can play around with those different settings, but this is just generally what I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and download that file. Okay. It's going to go ahead and prepare that download. You can save it to wherever you're saving your files. And then once you get it, all you want to do is go ahead and grab that file and pop it into your animation section here. So as you can see, I already have that ready to go. And here we go. So when you get that Mixamo uh, animation, you're going to get the file. It's going to look like this. It's pretty much an FBX. And if you click this arrow here, it's going to be a drop down. And inside here, you're going to get a bunch of uh, different things here. Um, this is basically the character that kind of you saw here in, uh, in their window that's jumping around. But the animation is going to be this one listed here, Mixamo.com. And if you click on it, you're going to see that it's completely grayed out here. But if you click on the actual FBX file, this is where you can make some changes. Now, the first change that you want to make is going to be when you click on Rig, you're going to want to change this from generic to humanoid. Okay. And that's going to be able to, uh, basically, I don't know all the big fancy words, but basically, uh, it's going to allow your character to connect to the unity mechanism system and it's going to work good. So, um, you can go with that. And then once you do that, the next important step is not to go to this, uh, here. It's actually, you want to click on this file here. We're going to do a control D and we're going to duplicate that file. Okay. All right. And then what we're going to do is rename it. So now you know that this is some type of boxing idol. So I'm just going to call it boxing underscore idol. Okay. And so now that we've done that, we can access that directly here. Okay. Now, before I actually change anything here, um, what I'm going to do is go back into my character. I'm going to go to my character state locomotion. And if you're not familiar at how to do this, um, you want to right click here in your project folder file, go to uh, create, head over to game creator, go to characters and do locomotion state. When you do that, it's going to create a locomotion state file. You should rename it, okay? Whatever maybe your name of your character is. And then when you have that, you're going to get this list of uh, built-in uh, motions that uh, come with it, with Game Creator. And then on your player, 
select your player and what you want to do is find the area here where it says default state you want to move this locomotion into that default state so now anything that you change in here will show up on your actual player okay all right so now that I have that locomotion state selected I'm gonna go ahead and lock my inspector and then I'm going to go where my animations are located now where we have this boxing idle I'm just gonna simply click and drag that into here I'm gonna go ahead and hit play just to make sure that everything is still the way it is alright great and so uh, we have that in our play and as you can see he's still hovering and you also notice that he is no longer moving and that's okay we're gonna fix all of that now alright so I'm gonna go back into my boxing idle and I got to remove this lock okay and so now we have some settings here we want to change the first one we want to change is the loop time and then uh, we want to go ahead and select loop poles bake into poles bake into poles for the Y okay and we want to bake into poles for the X and Z okay now there's one more setting here I want to do but let's go ahead and show you what this already gives us let me hit play all right great so as you can see the player is no longer sliding around and they're just kind of right there the moving exactly how they should be okay but we do have one issue we have they're still kind of off the ground and we want to fix that so for instance if we have them go over here that's not that doesn't look good so let's correct that right now so the first thing we want to do is just simply go back to your boxing where it says offset just simply do 0 0.1 okay and then let's go ahead and hit play perfect alright so now as you can see our player is properly set right on the ground now we should be able to move this real time as you can see we can change this but I found that dot one is a good one I'm gonna go ahead and hit play again and let's see here there we go yep and we can we can go up higher or lower or whatever you need to do uh, we don't want to go too low but um, if you want to go a little higher um, you can play with that as needed um, but that works pretty good and the great thing about this is now when we walk and we're idle here it looks great okay and so this should work or it's work for me in most cases um, if any type of idle animation um, if you change out the game creator run you're gonna want to take this same process um, as well with your character okay all right I hope that was quick and easy. I hope that helped um, solve any type of issues with uh, maybe sliding and, and your whole placement of your character on the ground. And the IK works as well with this, so you shouldn't have any problems there. All right. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, feel free to click the subscribe button. I love creating videos to help people learn new things. And I do this really just hopefully to keep you encouraged throughout the process. And I do truly believe we can learn from each other. But as always, the one thing I want you to leave here with is to never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.